Welcome everyone. So today I am going to talk to you about how to pray, which, you know, you might be expecting me to tell you who you need to pray to or how you need to prepare your surroundings and yourself in order to pray. Um, you may be asking, you know, how do I do this? I'm not going to be able to tell you that because that's something you're going to need to find along your spiritual journey if you don't already have a way of doing this. But what I am going to tell you about today is the most important part of prayer, no matter what religion you subscribe to, no matter what your beliefs are with regard to prayer, the most important part is the intention that we're putting off when we are praying. And it's funny because when we are praying for something that we feel very emotional about, maybe even something that, you know, is really serious, we might be putting off the intention that, you know, in, in telling the universe how awful the situation really is. I like to reference an experiment. I believe it's commonly known as the double split experiment. And this is an experiment and they've done several of them and um, throughout time and they've discovered new things each time. And the experiment really reveals as they shoot these uh, particles or electrons in this case through these slits, they find out that they behave differently when they are, are observed than they do when they're not. And so we've been able to derive a theory. And if you're not familiar with that, you absolutely need to go check it out. Um, I believe I'll, I'll put a video down in the description. I'm sorry, in my discussions uh, playlist for you if you want to see a really good video on that. I think it's called Quantum Magic or something like that. The guy explains it absolutely superbly. So the idea is that, you know, what we expect, what we observe, you know, the more we see something as becoming a reality, the more it becomes our reality, the more it eliminates the potential and the possibility for all of the other potential things to happen each time you know there's just like an infinite number of potential and possibilities for any number of circumstances in our lives and as we progress through we start to make choices or we start to observe things or we start to see things a certain way or people around us also can observe and affect even the particle, you know, even the thinking in terms of particles, even the things on our level, okay? So one thing that is vital to praying would be to make sure that you are putting out the intention of what you want to see happen, not what you don't want to see happen. So, you know, if you're praying for, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it light for you folks. So I'm not going to go into like, you know, bad things and awful things, but those things can be remedied with prayer. We all know, but it has to be through the visualization of it being the way that we want it to be. Okay. So when you do your prayer, when you say your prayer, you can't say or see what it is you don't want. You can't be uh, complaining even of what it is now. But you have to look into and be able to visualize what you want it to be. And that is what you need to be praying for. I want to see this be this way. I want to see this be this way. Okay. So if you're praying for a friend and their health, see them as being healthy and vibrant and well. Okay. See that, you know, whatever sickness or illness or, you know, thing that, you know, is encumbering them, you know, see that as being wiped away and then this beautiful, you know, make no more attention on the negative and only the beautiful part of them, you know, being recovered, already done, you know, and already moving in that direction. All right. And another good point to that, and this is why prayer circles are vital, is because the more people that put their intention in that direction, the more it becomes something that could be potential possibility that could be a reality, right? The more people that subscribe to it, the more it comes into our reality. So the more people you can get to visualize something in a positive way, the more effect I think you'll have on it overall in a positive way. And again, if the more people that are looking at it in a negative way, the more you're going to find a negative result. So this also can apply to every single aspect of your life. This isn't just with prayer. Your intention and what you expect 
are what we're, you know, manifesting in our lives. And yes, that is affected by the other people around us. So if you have people around you that expect certain things and maybe you're fighting against that, that could potentially be a problem for you. And so you maybe need to eliminate their observation of whatever it is and, you know, keep that to yourself or whatever you need to do to be able to eliminate a negative type of um, thing that might be interfering, right? I feel it's safe to say that most of us would really want our prayers to be manifesting in a very positive way. And we would absolutely never want, especially if we're making the effort to put our prayers out there in the first place, we would never want to, you know, be putting something negative out there. But I do believe that it's absolutely possible. So, you know, remember that the importance of visualization in absolutely everything you do, and particularly with regard to prayer, you know, um, as human beings, we have the power. And I know, you know, we have this imagination, we have dreams, we see something that is in the, you know, the mind aspect for some of you, for some of us that are, you know, like psychic and such, we see things even higher realm. We see, you know, things on an astral level, things on a spiritual level. And I do believe everyone is capable of that. It's really like a muscle that you exercise. And the more, you know, you become in touch with certain energies and understand and things, the more those intuitions that are probably coming through all along are understood by you, you know, if you aren't already picking up on your psychic you know, energies and understanding that. But visualization is just so vital to literally every aspect of your life. You know, what you envision for yourself genuinely in your mind's eye is really, you know, what you're telling the universe that you want to see. You, I want this. I want this, you know. And another, another big thing is, you know, I talk about my rules of resonance. If you haven't checked out my rules of resonance videos, check those out. Um, on the rules of resonance, it's all about the frequency of the words that we're speaking. You know, we are water and our environments are entirely made of water. And so everything around us is vibrating to a certain frequency. And it's, you know, also a very big part of manifesting. And it's putting that frequency out into the universe that, you know, we are attracting back what we put out. So you have to be very careful about your feeling, what you're saying, and what you're thinking. And it's it's kind of funny because, you know, no one can run around going, oh gosh, I've got to watch everything I'm doing. That's going to be difficult if you're trying to correct something from, from that point of view. I really think the best way to start to work your way back from, you know, if you're in a negative place and, you know, things are rough or whatever, you know, there's stinking thinking going on. Um, the best way is to start to, you know, change how you feel inside in order to be able to get to a place, you know, where you can actually feel happy about things and see things from a more positive perspective. I personally worked with um, a lady and she's a really, you know, she's a friend of mine. I regard her as a special, special person. And we don't, you know, see each other very often, but we talk on um, text and we send each other energy and she's a Reiki healer and uh, she's, in, you know, given me some instructions and techniques that have just totally, you know, made a huge difference in my life. And, you know, I would recommend, and if you want some information on that, just let me know and I'll be happy to share that with you or I may do a video on it in the future. And if you'd like to work with her, I will leave her information in the uh, description below. Um, her uh, business is called Unique Healings. That's Y-O-U, Unique Healings. And uh, her name is Toby. So if you're interested in that, check it out. But the bigger part of the picture here is that um, there are some techniques that you can do to start to get your balance, your energy back in balance to where you may not be feeling so like ah, overwhelmed or stressed out or whatever it is that you may be feeling that's not right. It's not comfortable, right? And so, um, you know, do some grounding techniques. Check it out. You can Google that and um, start to work uh, with getting your energy in the right um in the right balance for you. And another one is check out my rules for resonance because that is literally about 
getting that energy and a balance that you can manage the things that happen in your life. That's what this is about. So, you know, learning how to work with that energy, the rules of resonance. And now we're talking, you know, on a more spiritual level with this new series that we're doing on the spiritual path. So, you know, um, I hope that all of this kind of helps you to, to get, you know, things and, and to under, understand things on a better level and to help you to manifest the right things and for, to help you to make your prayers come out to be, you know, what you want them to be. Just be very mindful of what what it is you're expecting and what it is you're you're putting out there in, with as far as your visualizations are concerned. You know, visualize the things that that you want to see that's where your power is and it's very 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 powerful so i wish you all the absolute best we'll see you next time take care